Hi, my name is Tane, and I'll be presenting our work on Juicy Haptic Design. Here are two versions of a simple breakout cell game. On the right is the juicier version, which includes many popular visual juice effects, such as screen shake, particle effects, and animations. But it's missing something very important. It's missing haptic feedback. Let's add some. First, we add simple haptic feedback on collisions to create this. Note that the game does not actually produce audio feedback. Instead, this presentation video represents haptic feedback as audio feedback. Next, we crank up the haptic juice to create this. The haptic feedback here is far more expressive and abundant. So now, before I take a deeper dive, here are some key takeaways from this presentation. First, even simple vibrotactile feedback can improve player experience in games. And second, juicy haptics may be a useful design concept for hapticians. For some background, juiciness refers to excessive positive feedback in games, and some past research has linked it to improved player experience. However, most previous works on juiciness do not include haptic feedback, much less study its role and design. To this end, we study juicy haptics. We define it as excessive positive haptic feedback with the intention of improving user experience in games and other interactive media. We limit our designs of juicy haptics to haptic embellishments, which are haptic feedback that reinforce information already provided through other means, such as through visual feedback. Notably, haptic embellishments do not influence game mechanics. We pursue two research questions. What principles and concepts are effective for designing appealing haptic embellishments? And second, what is the added value of juicy haptics implemented as haptic embellishments to player experience? For the first research question, we assemble 10 preliminary design principles for haptic embellishments. Here's a glimpse of examples of all 10 principles, but please see the full paper for more details. For concreteness, we will dive into one of the principles, follow through, and focus only on its haptic component. Here's an example of a follow through visual clip with no haptics. Now we add simple haptic feedback that does not follow through. Finally, we add haptic feedback with follow through. Next, we report two user studies on newer iPhones equipped with linear resonant actuators, also called LRAs. Study 1 is on user preference for each of the principles of haptic embellishments. Study 2 measures the added value on player experience from juicy haptics that are implemented with haptic embellishments. In essence, Study 1 looks at the principles in isolation, while Study 2 considers them in context, holistically. In the interest of time, I will only report the key results from study 1. So controlling for the visual condition, we found that haptic embellishments designed with the following brightened principles improved user preference ratings. In study 2, we created 6 breakout style games with varying levels of juicy haptics and visuals. Each participant experienced 2 levels of visual feedback crossed with 3 levels of haptic feedback for a total of 6 different game conditions. The highest juicy levels were implemented with haptic embellishments designed with successful principles from study 1. For example, we build anticipation with haptic feedback as the ball animates in, and we play a follow-through haptic effect after the ball hits the paddle. Controlling for visual feedback, we find that the inclusion of juicy haptics can enhance self-reported enjoyability, aesthetic appeal, immersion, and meaning However, we do not find significant differences between the two levels of juicy haptics. A deeper dive into the results shows that players were polarized about the high juicy condition. Some complained that the juicy condition was too much and a bit over the top. These mixed results are consistent with some prior studies on juiciness that do not include haptics. We conclude that the inclusion of haptic feedback can improve player experience so its design should be given serious consideration. Finally, juicy haptics and the principles can serve as a useful preliminary framework, especially for novice hapticians, but it is wise to exercise some moderation. We encourage future researchers to continue to refine these frameworks. Thank you.